Have you found that sometimes there's a 15, 20, or even more point difference between your Dexcom G7 sensor and what it shows on your finger prick glucometer? Well, if you're a diabetic and you rely on that sensor value to determine your insulin needs or maybe even control a pump, or an athlete using those numbers to determine your carb intake either during or post a workout, having that sensor be accurate to what your finger prick glucometer shows is critical. You can calibrate your Dexcom G7. Let me show you how. It's quick. It'll take me a minute, minute and a half max. Here we go. Now, this tutorial is gonna be specific to the iPhone Dexcom app. This has been updated to the latest iOS, which at the time of this video is iOS 18, and the latest Dexcom G7 software. Once you open that up, you're gonna click on the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner, and that's gonna bring up a series of options of events that you can add. And we're gonna click the first one titled blood glucose, which underneath you will see shows finger stick or calibration. Click on the plus sign to the right of that. Once you do that, your next screen's gonna open up. It's gonna ask you if you're trying to log blood glucose or use this as a calibration. Obviously, per the purpose of this video, we're gonna click on use this calibration. That next screen that pops up shows a blood glucose meter value. And this is what's gonna be shown on your glucometer, your finger stick glucometer. In this particular case, this is me doing it live. I'm gonna adjust, I am in the middle of a small, um, crash. <laughs> You'll see that going on. Um, but blood glucose is 77. My center is showing 59. So there's obviously a very big difference. It's going to enter the date and the time for you. And when you're finished entering in your values, you click save in the bottom. And it's going to give you a small um, like alert or warning. It's going to say about this calibration. It's going to be reflected in the next sensor reading. And you just click I understand. And then you're going to click on confirm. Once you've confirmed the actual values that you've entered, and it's going to show you a calibration save message, but nothing's going to change in the number of your Dexcom sensor. It really is going to depend on when the last time your sensor gave you a reading. That number is going to adjust to the input you gave either within a few seconds, depending on when your next reading is coming, or it could be as much as five minutes. I've cut this video down, but it took two minutes and 20 seconds before my sensor showed the value that I was looking for. Once your sensor does give you that calibration save message, which you're gonna see right here, you'll see that the number in your Dexcom sensor app has jumped slightly, but your trend arrow is still flat and to the right. And that's the way you want it to be. Now, if your blood sugar is going up, you will see that on the next reading, that trend arrow point up or down, depending on what your blood glucose is doing. But you've now calibrated your Dexcom G7 sensor to your glucometer. And it's just that easy. Once you get that calibration save message on the second reading, you know that your sensor has been calibrated. Now, I've only ever had to recalibrate my Dexcom G7 sensor twice during its 10 day life. And that was more due to some interference from my tattoos than it was the sensor itself. And I've covered that whole topic in a different video. So outside of that, if this helped, smash the like button for me. That way other diabetics and athletes who are using the Dexcom G7 can figure out how to get their most accurate readings and then subscribe if you haven't already. That would really help this channel grow. I appreciate it. There's more coming. Thanks for stopping by. In the meantime, keep your spirits high, keep your blood sugar steady, and I will see you in the next one.